Today, I want to get into V saying he was somewhat sad about his weight and this causing backlash. I also want to get into people saying V responded to him dating Jungkook rumors at Celine event and then V's hair being pulled. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a taste spilling mug merch and let's go. If you're not aware, V recently did an interview with W Korea and spilled a lot of tea on how he has been feeling lately. Of course, with his solo coming out and him working on the album, I can only imagine the emotions are at an all-time high. Being able to put himself and his own feelings and artistic style first without thinking of the group is always a really overwhelming feeling because you either know what you are and or you have no idea. Given each of the members' identity are with each other, I am thinking it was the latter. The industry is very interesting for celebrities as there's never a dull moment and they still have to deal with the normal stuff that every person deals with like family or friend drama, but a lot of that is also very public. So they deal with the media talking about it long after they might be over it already. And then they either wake up to a new terrifying headline about them or they wake up to some extraordinary news about them. So extreme highs and extreme lows. Something that V is getting a little backlash for was his decision to focus on his weight for his solo. So trigger warning if weight discussion is an issue for you. So for W Korea, V was asked how he felt about his solo and how he is preparing. V responded thinking the main thing that plagued his mind and something he was contemplating a lot was his weight and going on a diet. Now if you remember not too long ago, V talked about being on a diet and he revealed his weight. He was 63.4 kg or about 140 pounds. So my personal opinion that is, that is a pretty low BMI. Now I am around 143 pounds or so, so very similar weight as Tang, but I am 5'7 and still considered very underweight. So myself along other armies were quite shocked and there was even a bit of a backlash at the time when we decided to share this. As I mentioned at the time and still now, weight is not seen as a very controversial thing among K-pop idols. It's talked about very openly and it's just not really a big deal. But the part that is more concerning is that V also mentioned that he has been feeling like he doesn't have much strength lately. Of course, if you're dieting to that extreme and being at a somewhat unnatural weight for your body, it can have that effect. It's extremely important for K-pop idols to be at a healthy weight for their own body because they dance so aggressively. And even doing a full two hour set of just singing is still physically taxing and requires strength. The reason even male K-pop idols diet so extreme within K-pop is obviously due to their fans mocking the idol if they don't diet, but it's also the only way to naturally get that jawline for Asians. And yes, a lot of Asians can also get it from being super buff, but that is limited to people with a more prominent square jaw to begin with, which is not common among Asians, and not always the beauty standard there. It's usually a V-like jaw and then also being thin. Plus being extra buff hurts the idol's ability to dance more freely. So they opt to be overly skinny. Now the backlash for V bringing up his weight again in this interview for W Korea is that people were saying that there were other things he needs to focus on. One hate comment wrote how V was focusing on dieting as opposed to voice lessons. Obviously I don't agree that he needs voice lessons because he can definitely sing very well. However, it's always good for any artist to constantly receive training even after being super successful so they can learn and continue to learn how to use their instrument properly. Broadway singers always receive training and also the artists will be able to create new sounds. So while I don't agree that he requires a voice lessons, I think every artist should have it. And dieting should not even be in the conversation as that has nothing to do with the music. People were saying that it's quite shocking to hear V being ashamed or upset about his weight and I think and hope that one day not only the culture changes but the mentality of these sorts of things change. Although I think it will be less likely, for a long time the audience in America have said that they want something realistic. They want people of all different sizes and representation. But then when groups come out where every member looks so skinny, so airbrushed, dances and sings perfectly, people suddenly throw realistic out the window and demand all artists meet that perfect standard. And so I just don't see that going anywhere anytime soon. But because of the hard work and almost untouchableness of these idols, I feel like this is a reason the fandom is so strong because we see them as almost inspiring superhumans. 
we've seen really crazy moments that have happened recently and moments that I don't ever want to see V in. Recently, V attended a Celine store opening in Japan. Seemed like he did not attend the first day, but decided to come by for the second day. And everything was going great. He did some interviews there, which I will talk about more later, and he greeted everyone that was there. People were definitely not supposed to be there, I don't think, and so he didn't really spend that much time talking to everyone. And also, it was definitely not safe, so if I was on his team, I would definitely not let him spend too much time there. And there was also no way to scan the crowd to make sure no one had any weapons or anything like that on them. When V was leaving the event, he went straight into the van and there was some severe overcrowding there. It didn't take too long before he was at the door of the car and getting in. Everyone was pushing and I guess pushing harder as this was their last ability to catch a glimpse of him. Also, usually when there's security, the guards try to create a bit of a bubble or barrier so no person can enter. However, when getting into a car, someone has to open the door and it's difficult to still maintain the bubble at that point. So it breaks it and then people can push through. And some people ended up getting very close to V. One person was recorded literally grabbing and pulling V's hair. Obviously, this was probably not pleasant and I'm sure he didn't enjoy that. And obviously, the person who did this was not thinking. And if you do manage to get close to the idol, definitely don't touch them without consent. This literally goes without saying and idols can't really speak for themselves in these situations. Because even American celebrities, when they ask their fans to not touch them, get backlash. People say, the celebrity is so rude to their fans. What I would have loved V do or any celebrity do is to get out of the car and tell everyone to calm down. But he can't do that, so he leaves. V has sort of indirectly addressed what this fan who pulled V's hair is being called online of, and it's a sasang. V posted a post on Weverse in the past to talk about hating the sasang so much that he tells them to watch their back. And I'm sure he would feel that way about those who are more aggressive at to him at these events. And there's never any reason to act crazy. And the bottom line is each member of BTS sees themselves as just human. They definitely don't like it when people freak out or act differently around them. They like to forget that they are celebrities sometimes and be able to have a natural conversation. If the entire time during the conversation you are just starstruck in front of him, no natural conversation can happen. Same goes if you pull his hair. The crowd can definitely get aggressive and I think people forget how to people. If we're acting like this and just grabbing things and people, we are no longer different from animals. People were also concerned if inappropriate things were being asked or done during the event, as if people were asking V if he dated Jungkook. This was a rumor that occurred when V was doing an interview with Celine. So what happened? Well, V was in the Celine store and the staff had a moment to ask him several questions. They started the questions by asking V to introduce the store and talk about the opening, hoping fans will like it. He says it's amazing over there and that everyone will love it. He was also asked a very interesting and fun question about if he would ever give a gift to someone, what would the gift be? V talked about how he would love to give a hoodie as it's very comfortable and it's something that they can wear and be happy about. Fans took this to talk about the time when V has worn a Celine hoodie and somehow connected this to a time he was around Jungkook and wore a Celine hoodie. This was to say that he would give Jungkook his hoodie, which is a romantic gesture usually. And then others took photos of the time Jungkook was in Dubai and found him at the Celine store, saying that Jungkook is giving V a gift from that store. This makes no sense to me as V is literally the ambassador of Celine. So why would he want a gift from that store? He can literally get it for free if he just asked Celine. And V wearing a hoodie doesn't mean anything other than he is not lying about liking hoodies. Other moments that were caught by fans was when V was looking at the items in the store and people were saying that he was picking out a gift for Jungkook. So this was definitely a concern if fans were going to straight up ask or shout at V about Jungkook and about dating. Regardless of whether you believe it to be true or not, it's not something the majority of the fandom wants to put in front of the boys all the time. If the relationship were to be true, they would prefer if the relationship blossomed naturally rather than it be this fan affair. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Then you can just lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.